You have to have trust when shooting an episode like this. Blake and I, every day, every night, diving into this story. I kind of approached the character as I would any character. I had to find things in Martin that were human. Don't drink that. I, I forgot you were underage. In real life, bad people don't present themselves as bad people. I'm so grateful to have a scene partner like Blake because there was so much communication, so much transparency that we had and that we had to have in order to shoot these scenes. What do we do? We had a lot of conversation about where our headspace is at in every single scene. It was really, really collaborative actually, trying to find those levels of how far can you push things? When do you want to show him breaking? Martin presents himself to the community as so put together, and so little by little you see him cracking. And it's really interesting the way that it's shot because we're so used to now seeing the show shot in a cinematic way where we're jumping back and forth between timelines, but this is done in chronological or like we're seeing it all within the year of 93. I felt really lucky to be doing this with Olivia Holt. She is a pro. She and I worked a lot with our director of this episode, Alexis Ostrander. Alexis actually took Olivia and I to Martin Harris's house on a, the weekend before we started shooting. And it was so helpful. I think, you know, normally when you do a TV show, you don't, you don't get to do rehearsals like that. This man manipulated her and gaslighted her. She was constantly looking for success or looking for validation from her family and with Martin. She gets that. Even though at one point he made her feel special, he completely took that away. He says all the right things. He oversteps little by little to kind of see what she's gonna be okay with. And I think he does it in an extremely manipulative way. It's extremely calculated. She doesn't realize it's happening. And I think at certain times he didn't know he was doing it, but then there's a turn and he very much knows what he's doing. Some presents for you, including one soft pretzel like you want it. Everything in his life is Kate Wallace and um, and he'll do kind of anything to keep her. It's interesting because there's a line actually in the show, going to therapy is like going to the gym. You don't want to go, but once you go, you feel good about it. And it's true. Friendship happens between two willing parties. Given the power dynamic between you, I wouldn't call it that. I don't think he could help himself. It's a real journey to go through every single memory and every beat of what happened. And it's the most difficult thing you can possibly imagine, but that is the ultimate game changer for Kate. And because of that, she has so much growth and is now even wiser and intelligent than she was before. You know, I think when you're dealing with such a serious subject matter, the sickness and the grooming and the manipulation. I'm only kidding around. You're ridiculously beautiful and smart and everything, but no. Because that would be crazy. Would it? So it's like, it's really hard to do that to this person that you are working with and that you care so much about. And and Olivia was incredible. I, I learned so much from her. Kate saw, I'm not gonna tell you that. You gotta watch. <laughs>